the first time that Rust got presented to me as a language that emphasized a lot the safety and thus got presented some features uh, like the mutability, the ownership or the unsafe block. And what I thought was that uh, why should I learn a new language only for these characteristics? Well, at least I can say that um, over the decades there were a lot of applications written in C and C++ that uh, are stable, uh, so uh, probably I have to put a bit more effort in order to check everything, but at least I can use C++, and so why should I change? Well, over the month that passed, I keep hearing about Rust more and more, and so I woke up a day uh, with the idea that I would like to uh, understand, to learn Rust at least the basics in order to uh, understand why this language is becoming so popular. What should have been told to me in order to make me love Rust from the beginning? This is Andrea and welcome back in new video. What should have been told to me is simply that Rust is not only a programming language, but is a total environment that gives some tools to the developer uh, that allow them to uh, improve the workflow. To understand what I mean exactly, imagine that you, uh, you have to write from the scratch a C++ application. I am sure that the first thing that you do is to go inside the workspace directory, create a new directory create the main file where you will put the main uh, function and then you will choose one of the application, the programs that allow you to define the rules to build your program easily like CMake or SCONS and then you start to define the structure of your application. Then for sure this application will need some third-party libraries and then what you do is to go uh, inside the site X, you download the source X and you insert the source X inside the source of your application. The problems here are two. The first is that you are inserting the source inside the application and you, when you, for example, upload everything on GitHub, you upload your application and the source code. There is nothing against it, but could be better. The second problem is instead that when you import a third-party application, you have to link the third-party libraries to your application in order to make it build with your application and you will be able to use it. And even if you are a really skilled programmer, this process requires effort and each time you create a new application you have to do these steps over and over and you have to do it for each of libraries that you insert inside the application, which is not so good. Instead, what Rust does provide the program that that provides some commands and some utilities tool that improve the workflow out. To create a new application, for example, you can just open the terminal, point to the workspace directory and just write cargo new and the name of your application. That's it. You can also build and run the application instantly. As before, you want to use some libraries inside your Rust application that in Rust environment are called crates. In order to use them, you can go inside the site crates.io and take the last version of your li of the libraries that you want to use, if you don't know the last version, and inside the cargo2ml file, the cargo program defined for you, you will define this dependency. And that's it. When you will execute cargo build, the cargo will first download the library, the crates, and then it will be along your application and you don't need to define any rules in order to use these third-party libraries and that's it so you if you compare the effort that you put inside the c++ application and inside the rest application you see that the difference is a lot now let's talk about the code styling for example when you work in 
uh, project like uh, open source project what happens is that there are a lot of programmers that put the hands on it and so you want to maintain the code style uh, the same across the entire application what this means is that you need something that makes this automated for you for example Godot uses C lang formatter that is a third party program that takes some rules defined inside the Godot project and format the code of Godot. What Rust does is that uh, there is a program called Rust Formatter that can be used using the command cargo rmf. Using this command you can format the code using the rules defined by Rust. And the nice things here are two. The first is that you don't have to put any efforts in order to use it because the rules are already defined by the Rust language that you can use it or you can't use it but still that the rules are already defined. And the second benefit is that by using the predefined uh, Rust rules uh, basically all the applications uh, written in Rust are unified. This means that if you work on an application Y and you switch to an application X, the code style is the same and you will be more comfortable in that environment uh, soon. And again you put less effort. Another thing that I want to highlight is that you in Rust you don't need to install a third-party library, but everything gets installed with the compiler. The documentation is something really important in Rust, because as C++ you can define the documentation inside the code, directly inside the code, and using a program you can extract it and create a web page. In Rust is exactly the same. You can write the documentation using the markdown to format it. And that's it, it's more or less the same. But why I am mentioning the documentation if it's the same? Well, there is another program inside Cargo that can be executed uh, using Cargo Test. What does is that takes all the snippets that you defined inside the documentation and simply execute it. If that snippet fail, the cargo test command tell to you that that particular snippet fail. You can define per each function, for example, a snippet of code that show uh, how to use that function. And at the same time, you can use that snippet to test the function itself. So imagine that you have a really complicated function you have two benefits. The first is that the user by reading the documentation understands exactly how to use that function and the second is that if in future you will perform some change inside uh, that function the cargo test will tell to you if that function works. In order to convince someone to test Rust you have to say that Rust make you save the time required in configuration and allow you to spend the time in programming better your application. Bye!